Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this little guy right here. This is the Keras Customs Retract Pen. First off, I want to thank my buddy Josh over at the Journey Wind Junk Blog for uh, sending this little guy along. It's an interesting pen. It's one I've kind of been curious about, and I'm glad I got a chance to check out, uh, so thanks for that, Josh. Next thing, let's do a quick size comparison here. This is not a huge pen here. Um, here it is against uh, the uh, one of my very favorite uh, everyday carry pens. This is the Urban Survival Gear Tie Scribe Bolt. Here it is against the Pocket Jotter over here um, and then let me grab a couple of other pens that are uh, nice default options. Right here is a big click stick sort of pen. So you can see that this is actually a little tiny bit longer than your normal click stick sort of thing. Not by a huge margin though. And then here it is against the Pilot G2, which is actually very similar in terms of overall size. So there you go. Um, and then finally, this is going to be a quick review because, well, yeah, we'll get there. Um, on the good side, though, uh, first off, this is a relatively durable pen. It's got an all-metal construction. It's solid aluminum, basically. Although you can also buy one in full copper, although for 50 bucks more. Um, and overall, the construction on it is good. There's the, the, the little internal part here. You got a refill. You got a single spring. There's really not a whole lot going on here. Can't argue with that. So that's, that's an excellent thing. Next thing, this uses a variety of different cartridges in the uh, Pilot G2 sort of pattern. So like the Schmidt Easy Flow works just fine here. In fact, this is a Schmidt head here. Um, you can do a Mont Blanc cartridge with a little tiny bit of modification. You might have to sand down the top of the cartridge and put a little something in the top there, but uh, that, that works very nicely. Uh, you can use a Pilot G2 cartridge, absolutely 100%, which is a really nice gel writing sort of thing. You get a lot of options here. Um, you, you don't have every option in the world, but at the same time, you have more than enough, and so that's, that's an excellent thing. Um, next thing, the knurling on the top of this guy is very nice. Um, it's very easy to extract this guy from the pocket as a result, and considering that the top part of this is entirely smooth metal, that was definitely a welcome thing, as is this little area here. Having these screws sticking up makes it really easy to grab and pull out of the pocket, which is good. Speaking of the pocket, the clip is great. Um, it's a nice, solid clip. It's a chunk of metal. I feel like it's not going to bend poorly, but even if it does, you can always flip it around, screw these back in, and use the pen itself to rebend the clip. Look, that's great. Um, this is a really nice clip, and it's absolutely uh, that was a pleasure to carry. Frankly, this guy was great in a pants pocket, which is how I carried it most of the time. So that's good. And then finally, on the good side, there is a lot of customiz uh, customizability here. The, um, you can get this guy in black, green, pink, red, orange, more. I mean, pretty much any color as well as, you know, flat out metal. Uh, the tumbled aluminum throughout. That's a great thing. I love the fact that Keras allows you to do pretty much anything you'd like um, color wise. And th 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 that offers you a lot of options. So I, all of that is the good here is that it's very customizable. It's got a very nice clip. It's got the nice knurling for pocket extraction. You get enough writing, uh, enough different cartridges that no matter what you like to write with, you're going to be able to find something or another there. It's got all metal construction, which makes it a very durable little pen here. Unfortunately, there's a fair amount of unfortunate stuff here. On the bad side, to start off, the, the price is a little bit high. It's 60 bucks. Look, that's a lot of money, but it's made in the USA, or at least most of it's made in the USA. Uh, the, 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 the clicker part is not, actually. Uh, it's made in Germany, but still, um, that, 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 that's nice. Um, but the thing is, that's still a lot of money, especially when you can buy really nice pens for, you know, 10, 12 bucks. Um, that, that, that's, that's some cash. Um, next thing, the top of this guy is unfortunately really, really tall. Um, this is not a pen that works at all if you've got a shirt pocket where the top of the shirt pocket folds over because there is quite literally like an inch and a half worth of, of space up on the top here between where you can get the uh where you can get it into your pocket and otherwise i mean that is a lot of freaking space and so that's not really super efficient um a, in like a pen roll is something like that not a huge deal but it's something that i found annoying and it really kicked this guy out of my pocket a couple of days because like well i don't have a place to carry this and so that's not good next thing is that the clicking mechanism in this guy just isn't that great. It's the Schmidt uh, mechanism. They talk about it online. The thing is, it's a little bit unreliable. There are times where I can click it, and of course, on camera here, it's going to do just fine, but the thing is, there are definitely times where I click it, and I expect it to retract, but it doesn't, and it kind of gets stuck in that state, and so you have to kind of keep trying to click it over and over and over again until it finally goes through there, and, but, yeah, of course, on camera, you, you, you're nice. See, that, that's a nice feature, just if you pen isn't working, you put it on camera. But uh, nonetheless, I found it to be unreliable functionally in my life. There were times where it wouldn't retract again after I'd put it out, or times where it wouldn't stick out. And I, I, I dislike that a lot. Anything that's unreliable is something that I'm less likely to carry, and that, that that's frustrating. But more importantly... 
If you look on the website for this guy, I will read to you verbatim part of what is on the website for the Keras Customs Retract. The click mechanism on the retract is a precision mechanical assembly designed and manufactured by Schmidt in Germany. Aggressive clicking or flicking of the mechanism can cause damage to the internal workings of the assembly, resulting in poor performance. This is usually indicated by a gritty feeling or by irregular functionality. This type of damage is not considered normal wear and tear and will not be warranted as being defective. Replacement parts are available, but at cost to the consumer. Okay. Uh, let me recap that there. This is a click mechanism. But if you aggressively click it or if you flick it, it can damage it. And that's not warranty. If you click this pen and it breaks, that's not a part of the warranty. Guys, come on. This is a mechanical device that has exactly one button. And they are saying that if you click this button incorrectly, you are no longer able to get a warranty and it could break as a result of you clicking it. I... I can't freaking even, and especially given that even in its, see, okay, right there. Did you see I clicked it a few times and it didn't, yeah, it's in this state right now where it's trapped out of there. Um, ugly freaking thing. And so, unfortunately, what this means is that this is a mechanism that is so fragile that clicking it aggressively can make it fail. And that just means that they're using a crappy mechanism here. Considering that there are many pens in the world that do not have this problem. This is a pocket jotter. This is like 12 bucks with a gel insert, and it doesn't have that problem. Any of these, like this tie scribe bolt, it's about the same price. It's a simple thing. It doesn't have this problem. Yet they're using a mechanism that has a problem. And then they're calling it my fault because I clicked it aggressively. That's so freaking ugly and lazy that I just can't even see straight. And so unfortunately, th that to me is sort of a deal breaker on this. Is uh, And that that is in turn the bad, is that they, they, they've got a clicking mechanism here that can't be clicked or else it might damage it and then that's on me. Uh, the clicking mechanism itself is kind of unreliable and there were many times where I found myself like I have to manually confirm after I click this that it's actually redeployed or it's actually pulled back in. And then it's got an inch and a quarter of space above the clip here, and it's still 60 bucks. Final conclusion, you know, look, it's a fine pen. It works, and especially with a good refill in it, like the Mont Blanc here, or otherwise, it writes well. And it is going to be plenty durable for most tasks, except, of course, you know, clicking the button aggressively. But the thing is, the jumping cost, the super long back end, and then the apparently fragile click assembly just meet the, mean that I just, I, it doesn't do it for me at all. I, and at the end of the day, if I want to make metal clicky pen, there were a bunch of nice options. I could do the freaking pocket jotter for like a, 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 God, what is that? Like a sixth of the price. I could do the tie scribe bolt if I want something that's really well done and made in the USA and, and just absolutely reliable. Uses the uh, same Mont Blanc refill, G2 refill. It works just beautifully. And, and they, so there are all of these really excellent options for under 60 bucks that are way cheaper often and don't have a full disclaimer involving the use of the clicker. And so given, you know, if I woke up in the morning and these two pens are on the table and I have to grab one of them, you know what? I'm grabbing the jotter every damn time. It's just, to me, it feels like a better pen, at least certainly a more reliable one. And so I'd much rather to take this guy and take the fiance out to a nice dinner instead. So there you go. That's the Keras Customs Retract. I think it's a nice pen. Certainly a great body design, but it's in need of a much better clicker because apparently they got some problems with that. So there you go. Hope this has been interesting to you that I made the right call and that this review kind of clicked for you. Although hopefully not too aggressively. Hope, <laughs> hope you enjoy. Have a good one, everybody. Bye now.